Well, the Paris 2024 Olympics are still a year and a half away, but athletes who want a spot are already training hard. And once again, even though Paris will host the Summer Games, Salt Lake City is a big part of it. Olympic specialist Alex Cabrero was at a training camp this week for climbing athletes. He now joins us live. And Alex, it's kind of hard to believe we're already talking about the next games here. <laughs> That's right, Dan. You know, the next Olympics, they're kind of sneaking up on us because the 2020 Tokyo Games were delayed a year. So instead of the normal four-year gap between summer games, this time around, it is only three years. And since USA Climbing is based here in Salt Lake City, you are starting to see a lot of Olympic-level climbers coming here to train. Their Olympic dreams are so close. Let's go, let's go! Only 50 feet up. Quick feet, quick feet! speed climbing it's all about who gets up there the fastest it's extremely exciting Merritt Ernsberger is one of the top speed climbers in the United States and is hoping he can get fast enough to make the Paris 2024 US Olympic team I can't even imagine walking onto that stage and be what that would be like it's why he attended this national team training camp in Salt Lake City USA climbing is based here and now that speed is its own discipline in the Olympics instead of mixed with boulder and lead climbing it means the need for fast climbers is as important as ever. A whole other team that we're that we're now having to support, having to find resources for, get coaches for, um, and find opportunities for them to train. It gives us an opportunity to collect a couple more medals from the Olympic Games. Preserve your energy. USA Climbing hired a speed coach to help train climbers. Alexi Shulga was a speed climber himself and knows the little differences that can shave some time off of competition climbs. We're working on like the very subtle, precise accuracy and everything that we involves in training. Shulga is also from Ukraine. A lot of his family members are still there. He was able to convince his sister to move to the United States, but others decided to stay. A lot of Ukrainians just don't want to leave. They're Ukrainians, they're patriots. Yeah, they want to um, fight for that independence. That drive to work as hard as possible to get what you want, in this case, the Olympics, is passed on to these climbers. It would be incredible. Like, I... For a long time, this was like my dream. USA Climbing did very well in the Tokyo Games. Three of our four athletes made it to the finals with Salt Lake City's very own Nathaniel Coleman winning the silver medal. Now, because of that success, the pressure is on to win even more. It is still a year and a half to go, Dan, but those who train at an Olympic level, it's basically right around the corner. That's amazing to think. And incredible athletes there. That's just incredible to see them race up that mountain Absolutely. or the, the, the rock there. Yeah. <laughs>